Tuesday, July 1, 1997. We're in Hong Kong, where the rain is heavy and hearts are too. More than a century and a half of British administration will come to an end. A British colony just a day ago, this country is now governed under a new structure. One country, two systems. It's a kind of governance agreed as part of a UK-China joint declaration. It's meant to last until the year 2047 and classifies Hong Kong as an SAR, or Special Administrative Region. This gives the region its own autonomous government. It allows Hong Kong citizens a higher degree of freedom, business opportunity, and a chance to voice opinions freely. These freedoms are governed by basic law, a kind of mini-constitution. Article 23 of this document requires that Hong Kong enact laws on its own to prohibit any act of treason, succession, submission, subversion against the Central People's Government, or CPG. That's the government of mainland China. In 2003, the Hong Kong government tried to make changes to basic law. They proposed something called the National Security Bill. But people didn't like it. Hundreds of thousands took to the streets over concerns of losing their freedoms. There have been more protests since then, with Hong Kongers becoming more vocal about their rights, and the CPG worried about losing control. The latest development is China's decision to enforce a national security law, whether Hong Kongers like it or not. Today, just like that day in 1997, hearts are heavy in Hong Kong, as an agreement meant to last five decades, ended 27 years too soon.